rambling about the same thing over and over. Hold on, this slide is too fucking harsh. And over again can be really, really annoying. I mean, especially when it's not cohesive, when it's really euphemistic the way I ramble. Where I might argue that in terms of race, that integration isn't a good thing. That this whole cultural Marxist viewpoint on race, gender, identity, and orientation, it's really fucking dumb, but unlike most people that basically go out and decide to prove it, I just ramble on for a few minutes to people that basically already know this. I'm not the type of person that's out to convert viewpoints or to actually go out there and basically find evidence or arguments for my viewpoints. That's why I never got anywhere with the libertarian anarchist community because most of the time they look at videos and they look for guys that are great at making arguments and justifications and analysis and all this other shit and that's not me. I could give a fuck whether about whether or not you agree with me or not unless you have already agreed with me on some things. Prerequisites are the only thing that matter to me. People that are transitioning to my views because of my videos, hey, that's great. That's perfect. But people that are looking to see me prove them wrong, I could give a fuck whether or not you... You could be the fucking... A Jezebel, Jezebel, fucking... Tim Wise, for all I care. You could be Tim Wise. Hell... You could be Tim Wise, subscribe to my channel, love all my videos, and you know what? I feel for you, but you know what? I'm not going to make videos out to get you from being that Tim Wise ass mofo to being fucking grog or anyone of that nature. Because that's not my interest. I could give a fuck. It really sounds like a negative thing to say, like, I don't care. But those aren't where my interests lie. Now, I've thought about what... About this apartment itself, the walls. A lot of these apartments were made prior to World War II. Or way back to a point where... The mentality was much more different. It's safe to say that these places, while they haven't aged completely in an attractive way, and that could be blamed on people who are bad at taking care of houses, too, and apartments, they were made by sturdy hands with sturdy people that work way harder than we do. And think about things heading into the right direction. I mean, this place is creaky. I already know which tiles creak and which ones don't. This place is a stupid ass, creaky ass place. I can't stand it. But you know what? I appreciate it. Because the people that Imagine if people were making an apartment now. I've checked the apartments that are new around here. I mean, they're tearing down places, building them up. It's taking forever now. And not only is it taking forever, but it's just not good. It's more minimalistic. I mean, look at all this Greco-Roman architecture. It's beautiful. But when you look at the newly constructed stuff, it's... It looks like fucking Tron. Now, Tron looks badass. In a way. It's got that techno-aristocratic look. That digital-aristocratic look. 
It just looks plain whack. Wiggity whack, y'all. And I don't, I don't fucks with that shit. That minimalistic crap. <sighs> but less is more sometimes. In fact, a great part of our arguments is that less really is more. Yet, it's just plain lazy. It's not minimalism in a constructive way. It's minimalism in a fuck it way. I see it in the music now, too. I mean, most songs are just, like, all chorus now. Or it might as well be. What else? Now let's get on to the subject that made the title, not just the side little subjects that I'm rambling on, because I could do whatever the fuck I want. God damn, I'm pissed in this video for no reason. The role of depression. And I'm bringing up the subject of depression because I feel like it's a term that's used way too often. I'm feeling depressed when really you're in a state of disappointment or sadness. And the big difference is depression is supposed to be heavy demotivation. It's not just you're feeling sad, but... You're you you're just you're just doing stuff. You're still working. You're still functioning. You're still uh, or disappointed. Where okay, you're gloomy, but once you get some something you actually like, some some of the work or events you wanted, you're gonna hop into that. Depression is more like no, nah, I don't even want to do this shit. Okay, it's it's not really a good feeling. The fatigue and things of that nature and depression exists because you want to do something stupid like kill yourself or kill someone else or hurt somebody else or hurt yourself self-harm histrionics especially want to do this but out of attention well, not histrionics borderlines damn once you don't study something for a whole year, it kind of leaves you. But anyway, you have this mentality, and you you want some type of damage, which your brain knows is stupid. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna make you depressed. Why? Because okay, you're you're not feeling good, and you're not feeling motivated, which means that you're not motivated. To do the stupid thing. That's why antidepressants sometimes lead to suicide. Because you have the motivation. You have enough of it to be able to carry the act. Now, You're feeling swollen enough that. Okay now. This is going to be the day I kill myself. Man. It, it's not a good. It's not a good thing. I mean. It's March. It's March, and people are still freaking about what happened in Connecticut in December. A lot of teachers in my school are from upstate New York, and they do visit Connecticut, that area specifically, for the malls. And it really is sad what's happened, but... It's led to so much bullshit. The ramifications, honestly, to me, are worse than what actually happened, which was a bunch of six-year-olds were killed and a Prozac using douchebag took out his own life. Maybe his mother's life, too. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah his mother's life, too. It truly is sad, so. but the ramifications, what it's going to mean, that's much worse. It's always going to be worse than the short 
term results which is just in depth. If you think about it, that is a really fucked up thing for me to say. I'm saying that all the bullshit that's going to happen after this incident is worse than the deaths because of the incident in and of itself. And the families that are ruined. Hey, you know what? I'm thinking about things in the large scale. Individuals are not a priority. So depression in many ways is good. Depression means that you're not going to have the motivation to carry out stupid decisions. Because you're not motivated. Because you're not feeling well. Problem is that what makes you depressed sometimes, what you're not supposed to do, what your brain's making you not motivated to do, some of these things are actually good things. People get depressed and they can't work or do the school work and their parents are bitching at them because the teachers are bitching at the parents. And there's a lot of stupid things that happen because of depression. Quite honestly, the term is used way too much, but if you think about it, in this kind of society, I'm feeling that depression is a good thing in worse ways. To me, depression can be good because it stops you from doing stupid things. I think for society, depression might be a good thing, especially with the government and the corruption, to get people to work less. It's becoming more and more of a consumption-based economy, a an economy with much less scarcity, if not at all. You got drone technology, and that's going to be a really fucking nightmare. You already got smartphones that are changing everything. Now you got fucking robots up in this bitch. But, in thinking about all of this... Making people less productive is something a corrupt lefty liberal society that's suicidal, that's effortless slash antinatalist in principle, full principle at least. That is a good thing. I'm not. I don't want kids. My brain is receiving that as something that's self-destructive, dangerous, suicidal. It's gonna. It's going to create depression so I don't have the work ethic or motivation to do that. Okay, then whites and other groups don't reproduce enough and become extinct. Yep. A job well done. It truly is kind of sad. And depression is something that I feel is put into a lot of you're put into tons of situations of depression and the easiest way to make someone depressed is basically to put them in a position where you're forcing them to try to kick your ass but if they don't have the living standard they can't kick your ass so if I were to come up to you and slap you in the face in public, you'd kind of have to knock me out. Just you want definitely want that because hey, I'm being such an asshole. But your brain would demotivate you and make you depressed sometimes because, quite honestly, if you did strike back and they broke out into a brawl, that could lead to trouble with authorities or other shits. And we have something like that. We have the police system, especially now that cops are doing less enforcement of law and more stop and frisks, just for police for the sake of policing, and the education system. 